Hi. Well, here's a little rig that I picked up off of one of the gun broker auctions lately. This is a Navy Arms 12 gauge muzzle loading percussion shotgun. Double barreled. Now I would say that the barrels have probably been shortened on it a little bit by the look of it. It has about, uh, the barrels are about 23 and a half inches long, which seems kind of odd. Normally you'd think of a shotgun like this having a 28 or 30 inch barrel for an upland gun, or maybe a 20 inch, 18 or 20 inch barrel for a coach gun. But 23 and a half inch sounds just kind of odd, so I would imagine that sometime or other somebody has, uh, has cut the barrels on this gun. Let's see if we can get the markings to show up here. Navy Arms. And these were manufactured by Pedersoli in Italy. We can get a good look at all of this here. Got the two bead sight, the rabbit ear hammers, and the double triggers. That there is half cock, folds back here. Front trigger is the right hammer, and uh, back trigger is the left hammer. And as I said, it's 12 gauge. Got some nice engraving on the lock work, and the hammer. Has a metal butt plate. Now on these you'll find most of the markings on the underside of the barrels. But you do have a little bit here like a you got your serial number here and it was made for Navy Arms. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the barrels off of this thing so you can get a good look at the markings on the underside of the barrel. They tell you a lot of information about it. And to take one of these down is very simple. You just pull the ramrod and then you have to uh, pull this wedge like so. And then you can just uh, lift it right out of the stock in action. These are a hooked breech. And here you'll find a lot of information about the gun on the underside of the barrels. And of course, made by Pedersoli. There it shows you 80 grains of black powder your maximum charge with one and a quarter ounces of shot and then you've got all your proof marks and right there where it says AN that's the year code and that is the year code for 1985 so this gun was made in 1985 been well cared for, taken care of, not been allowed to rust or anything. Bores are good in it. Let's see if we can get this lined up here. And set back together. And essentially that is about all there is to taking one of these apart for cleaning. And I haven't had a chance to get this out and shoot it yet. I always kind of wanted to fool around with a muzzle-loading shotgun. 
So now I've got the opportunity. But I thought I'd give you a quick look at it. And I want to do an end of video shout out. And this one's for Log Cabin Looms. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. Get a little free time, go check it out. Thanks for watching.